back again with another video so in today's video we'll be solving the novdec 2019 core mass theory questions we'll begin with the question one question one a draw a table for multiplication in modulo 7 on the set scale is equal to 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we'll be drawing a table in modulo 7 all right so in modulo there are two rules you should pay attention to so rule one if the result of the operation is less than the modulo you are working in. You write the results in the box. So if results is less than modulo, you write results. And if the result is equal to or greater than the modulo, you divide by the modulo and then you write the remainder. So if results is greater than or equal to mode right remainder okay so these are our two rules so we have our table then our multiplication then two three four five and six we have two three four five and six now two times two is four four is less than our mode so you write four 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is less than our mode. Our mode is 7. So you write 6. Now 2 times 4 is 8. We know that 8 is greater than the mode. So we divide 8 by 7 and we write the remainder. Now when we divide 8 by 7, we get 1 remainder 1. So we write the remainder 1. 2 times 5, we have 10. Now 10 is greater than 7. And so we divide by 7, then we write the remainder. Now 10 divided by 7, we have 1 remainder 3. So we write 3 here. And then 2 times 6, we have 12. Now 12 is also greater than 7. And so we divide 12 by 7, then we write our remainder. So we have 5 here. So you do all for the empty boxes. Okay, so when we follow our rule, this should be our final table. Now moving on to the B, it says use your table to find on the set scale the truth set of n times into brackets n times 6 is equal to 3. So we are asked to find the truth set if n times n times 6 is equal to 3. So in this case, Let's pick the values of n one by one. So we start with n is equal to two. So if n is equal to two, what we are saying is that two times the bracket of two times six should be equal to three. So two times two times six. Now two times six, this is our two. 2 times 6, we have 5. So we have 2 times 5. Now 2 times 5 is 3. So this is equal to 3. So we know that n equals 2 satisfies this expression. So n equals 2 is 1. Now let's move on to n equals 3. So if n is equal to 3, then we are saying that 3 times 3 times 6 should be equal to 3. So 3 times 3, when we move to the table, 3 times 3 is 2. So we have 3 times 2. Now 3 times 2 is 6, which is not equal to 3. So n equals 3 is out. Now let's pick n equals 4. So if n is equal to 4, we are saying that 4 times 4 times 6 should be equal to 3. Now let's see if this is true. So 4 times 6 is 3. So this whole expression gives us 3. And 4 times 3 is 5. And 5 is not equal to 3. So our n is not 4. 
So let's move on to n equals 5. So if n is equal to 5, then we are saying that 5 times 5 times 6 should be equal to 3. So let's see. 5 times 6, we have 2. And then 5 times 2, we have 3. So this is equal to 3. Hence, our n is also 5. This is our second solution too. Now let's check 6. If n is equal to 6, we have 6 times 6 times 6 should be equal to 3. Now 6 times 6 is 1. And then 6 times 1, there is no 6 times 1. So 6 doesn't even qualify to be a solution. So this brings us to n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 5.